Yuma is a city full of people passing through. From the farm workers to the snowbirds, the transient nature of its population is perfect for a virus that likes to hitchhike. Well, I'm going to stop COVID-19. COVID-19 is not going to touch these families in South County. And then suddenly it's just enormous all over Yuma County, right? We couldn't stop it. Amanda Aguirre manages a COVID-19 testing site that conducts about 80% of Yuma's tests. She knows the population here, which includes 40,000 plus migrant workers who only live here for a few months, makes catching a racing virus difficult. But now we want to vaccinate them. And they have a very limited time here in Yuma. Another high risk population? The seniors that fill area RV parks like Country Roads RV Village. We've had 75 cases reported either to the board or to our management. We know that there are probably more. All this in an area with an infrastructure made for a much smaller community. About 200,000 people live here, and that's not even including the workers that make Yuma the winter lettuce growing capital of the world. But the medical needs of all those people are served at just one hospital. So if you're in a bigger city and if, you're, and if your ICU is full and your ED is full, you go on what's called diversion. So in other words, you close your ED or you close your admissions and, they, and you send patients to other hospitals. But that's not an option in Yuma. Sometimes you were holding ICU patients in the emergency department for days looking for beds or the volume was such that you were transferring out. Some patients didn't make it out. Father Emilio Chapa leads the parish of St. Francis of Assisi. Last month of January has been a month that I've never seen this many funerals before. The county has hope in the form of a vaccine. The problem is that we don't have vaccines. Why do you think that is? They haven't been allocated to Yuma County. Aguirre believes the systems she has in place for testing could also be used for mass vaccinations, if they had the supply. We've been told that we've been allocated 400. So what you can do with 400 vaccines, right? She thinks they could vaccinate up to 2,000 people per day. But last week, her sites didn't receive a single dose. Just another hit to a community that refuses to give up. You'll see signs throughout the city, uh, hashtag you must strong. And I believe that that message is, is being followed through as far as that we're strong for each other and we, we're there for each other. Even if it isn't, all year round. Tyler Mannion, Cronkite News.